A striking moment in northern Guatemala. A small private jet takes off from an improvised airstrip carved out of dense jungle. The jet gathers speed and lumbers down the runway, engines screaming as a military helicopter follows close behind. It takes to the skies at the controls of a Guatemalan military pilot, whose mission was to retrieve and confiscate it. It had been abandoned by international drug traffickers after having delivered dozens of kilos of illegal drugs. Scenes like this one are increasingly common in the jungles of northern Guatemala. Normally verdant, lush, subtropical forests are slashed, trees cut down to create temporary, tenuous landing strips for small aircraft. The strips are used by drug traffickers who fly their merchandise, mostly cocaine, from Venezuela and Colombia to the Guatemalan jungle. Aircraft are usually abandoned after landing, lone monuments to the money and resourcefulness of the drug trade. Guatemala's northern Petén department has long been of strategic importance to traffickers due to its proximity to Mexico and the porous border that separates the two countries. In the mid-1990s, when the United States cut off traditional Caribbean sea routes for traffickers moving their cargo from South America to the United States, drug cartels looked for new overland routes through Central America and Mexico. Guatemala's jungles became prime real estate for the drug trade. The Guatemalan army now provides security to over 50% of the Petén jungle deploying 1,000 members of two specialized brigades to detect and interdict smuggling. Colonel Ruben Telles is a spokesman for the Guatemalan Army. Estas organizaciones transnacionales o estos grupos transnacionales aprovechan la magnitud del terreno de Petén y pues eh, la geografía del Petén, que siendo un terreno bastante plano en su mayoría, pues se presta para este tipo de operaciones, ¿verdad? Y realmente lo que hay que entender es ¿Qué necesita usted para tener una pista clandestina? Una pista clandestina no se puede definir per se. Es cualquier espacio de terreno plano con la longitud suficiente que permita un aterrizaje. El despegue no es de tanto interés de estos grupos, pues las aeronaves, la pérdida de la aeronave no representa una pérdida económica para ellos. Government security forces also rely upon local communities to protect the jungle, which is home to some of the country's most valuable natural resources. Precious woods, ornamental and medicinal plants, the sap used to make chewing gum are all exported from the Petén. Sometimes competition for the land puts the drug traffickers and communities charged with protecting the forest at odds, or in some cases, however, and according to law enforcement, in complicity. Bitter and sometimes dangerous disputes between law enforcement, local communities and trafficking organizations have occurred. Military security planners have found both allies and enemies in the jungle communities. In some cases, the military found communities were collaborating with drug traffickers to keep jungle airstrips cleared from vegetation or providing intelligence on security patrols. El ejército, las unidades que se encuentran desplegadas en Petén, mantienen relación estrecha con las comunidades que se encuentran dentro, bueno, en todo el territorio de Petén, en especial con estas comunidades que se encuentran dentro de lo que son las áreas protegidas. Eh, se trata de mantener una comunicación cercana con ellos, se trata de convivir con ellos en todas las necesidades, asistirles cuando es necesario, pero eh, no se puede negar el hecho de que ha habido un par de ocasiones en que se ha tenido problemas con estas comunidades, eh, en el sentido de que ellas, eh, los comunitarios se organizan e impiden que se realicen operaciones de este tipo. Hay tres fechas específicas durante este año, una en febrero, dos en febrero y una en mayo, en que se realizaron operaciones eh, antinarcóticos o contra el narcotráfico y que los comunitarios se organizaron para impedir este tipo de operaciones. The relationship between the communities and the jungle spans generations. But in the last quarter century, dozens of small indigenous settlements within the Petén jungle have been officially charged with being the guardians of the forest. As a result of a 1996 peace accord following decades of civil conflict, the Guatemalan government offered communities concessions to sustainably exploit forest resources. Families worked together harvesting ornamental plants for export to the United States and precious hardwoods for luxury flooring and furniture in Europe. 
The concessions provide a sustainable livelihood to people while promoting the responsible management of the environment. Dominga Choc is from the settlement of Huachatun, right on the edge of the Mayan Biosphere Reserve, 21,000 square kilometers of protected forests that are home to hundreds of species of plants and animals. It was created in 1990 as a model for the sustainable balance between the need for economic development and environmental sustainability. She says her community is aware of the need to safeguard its piece of forest from the drug trafficking activity that threatens the entire ecosystem. The more than 20 forest communities are organized into an association that helps them lobby for resources, access foreign markets for their products, and ensure sustainability. Eric Cuellar has supported those efforts through his role as director of the Association of Forest Communities of Betel. Esto ha sido una verdadera alternativa para la gente, para la gente del campo, que también es la gente que casi nunca tiene oportunidades de generar desarrollo. Y aquí está participando en un proceso que además de conservar recursos naturales y culturales les permite trabajar en la generación de su propio desarrollo. Desarrollo no solo económico, sino también desarrollo integral como personas, mejores capacidades, eh, participación social, participación en aspectos de políticos en su organización comunitaria y eso ha, ha generado un verdadero desarrollo integral en las comunidades. International experts have recognized the crucial role organized communities have played in curbing the amount of forest used by international drug trafficking. They say that the fact that tight-knit communities work together to preserve their natural resources to generate sustainable income is key to prevent the encroachment of outside traffickers. But the number of forest fires set to cut landing strips and to clear forest land for cattle raising operations that are in turn used to launder money is rising. The Guatemalan government says that of the 23 forest fires that occurred in Petén in 2020, 20 of those were attributed to drug traffickers clearing land. Close cooperation between communities and law enforcement is crucial. This is the entrance to one of those forest concessions, located near the border between Guatemala and Belize. Just beyond the gate that allows access to the forest, a small clearing hosts an army platoon that works with the community to patrol the area. <laughs> Taking a break from patrols to play a game of soccer is rare. Patrolling the forest is continuous, difficult work. It takes place on the ground and from the air. Bienvenidos a la Laguna del Tigre, Infantería de Selva, a la hora de usted, mi coronel. Infantería de Selva, patrulla avanzar. But some community leaders say not enough is being done to protect the forest from drug trafficking. They say military patrols are spotty, and the announcements of captured aircraft or the destruction of clandestine airfields by the military are more exercises in public relations than true interdiction efforts. The community of Huachatung, founded by gum harvesters at the turn of the last century, is home to an important archaeological site, an early astronomical observatory. It symbolizes everything the Peteng has to offer and everything that is at stake. Neria Herrera, a former mayor of Huachatung and an environmental activist, is critical of what she sees as decades of neglect by the government for the region. Somos la tercera parte de Guatemala. Somos el, el, el departamento del Petén con 35.800 y la Juana de, de kilómetros. ¿Por qué no proteger a este departamento verde 
que, nos, que le da vida no solo a nosotros, sino a muchas partes del mundo. ¿Por qué no protegerlo? ¿Qué hace el gobierno? ¿Por qué no viene, no manda gente en lugar de estar atrás de los escritorios a ver cómo vivimos aquí? And the military says there have been instances in which some communities have colluded with traffickers to allow clandestine drug flights. In one incident late in 2019, three army soldiers were killed when patrolling near a community. 2020 saw nearly 30 aircraft seized, 17 illegal landing strips destroyed, and close to 8,000 packets of cocaine confiscated. But experts say the number of successful drug trafficking operations is much larger. As long as there is a demand for drugs flowing from South America to consumer markets in the north, countries like Guatemala and its jungle borders will be of continued strategic importance to traffickers, which puts the jungle itself and its precious resources at risk.